Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, left the royal family last year and moved to North America. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex eventually settled in Montecito, California, where they are raising their two children, Archie Harrison, 3, and Lilibet Diana, 4 months. The Sussexes' enjoyment of their life in the U.S. was on display during their recent whirlwind tour of New York City. The couple's visit to the Big Apple was their first major outing since Meghan gave birth to Lilibet in June. One of the next big occasions in the royal family's own diary is the Platinum Jubilee, which will be held for Harry's grandmother, the Queen, next year. The anniversary is to mark Her Majesty's historic 70-year reign, a feat no other British monarch has achieved. Speculation has grown in recent months about whether Harry and Meghan will attend the celebrations. After moving across the pond, Harry returned to the UK for the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip, who died in April. The Duke's return was a solo trip, as Meghan, who has not yet returned to Britain, was heavily pregnant with Lilibet at the time and remained in California ahead of her birth. Harry also came back to the UK a couple of months later as he teamed up with his brother, Prince William to unveil a statue of their later mother, Princess Diana. Royal historian, Dr. Edward Owens, claimed to express.co.uk that any visit by Harry and Meghan would likely be a swift one. The former lecturer is the author of The Family Firm, Monarchy, Mass Media and the British Public, 1932-53. He said, I imagine if they come for the Platinum Jubilee, it will be a bit like what happened with Philip's funeral, it will be a brief visit and then off again. He also discussed the new media roles Harry and Meghan have carved out since they cut ties with the royal family. The Sussexes' projects include agreements to produce content for Nextflix and Spotify, which are reportedly set to net the couple millions of dollars. Speaking about their wealth, Dr. Owens said, Harry is a multi-millionaire, but he's not exceedingly rich. I think on that basis he and Meghan are looking at as many commercial ventures as they possibly can take on, they are living the American dream in that respect. One of Harry's latest big projects is the memoir he has said he will publish next year via Penguin Random House, billed as an intimate and heartfelt look at the Duke's life it is set to chronicle his experiences from a young boy to the man he is today. Harry has said all proceeds from the book will be donated to charity. Although Harry has not provided extensive details of what his memoir will contain, various reports have suggested it could provide embarrassing passages about his family. Dr. Owens claimed the timing of the book in relation to the Queen's Jubilee was important. He said, this is meant to be the Queen's last hurrah, it's very unlikely that there will be an 80th Jubilee. Harry is hot right now, he's interesting and he's got to make what he can out of that interesting story whilst people are still interested in him. He added, at next year's Jubilee, the monarchy, the Queen and her advisors will be saying, don't worry about it, that's going on over the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, this is a celebration of Britain, the Commonwealth. The date of publication becomes even more crucial because if it's released prior to the actual Jubilee, if there is incendiary, explosive material contained in the memoir, you almost think that Harry might not even get invited.